All right, guys. So today's video, uh, I already opened the box. I got impatient when I saw it last night. So I got the Velocitech Big Mouth Ram Air Intake. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little driving video. Um, the first video, or the first clips after, after this unboxing, which it's already unboxed. Uh, I'm going to do some, since I have JB4, I'm able to monitor my air intake temperatures. So the first portion of the video, I'm going to monitor the stock temperatures, go on a little drive where I let the car idle for a few minutes, a little bit of a highway drive, and then at the end of the drive, and see where the temperatures are at now. So um, as far as, do I think this is going to drastically change air intake temperatures? No. Um, did I mainly buy it because it looks cool? Yeah, I think it looks neat behind the grill. Now I will say, Performance Blue, hopefully you can see this, I'll move the, the camera here in a sec, but it's quite a bit different than the, the exterior of the car. That's an oversight on my part, but the cool thing is, um, as you see, these have little Allen screws. Hopefully that light's not too bright. Let me turn that down a notch. Um, you can change these, these flare things. So, like I said, it's a little bit off from the color of the car, and that's okay. I wanted it darker anyways. So, um, let me, uh, I'm gonna take you guys off the tripod, show you where it goes, and kind of what we're talking about today. All right, guys. So, as you can see here, the car intakes air from here, funnels it to here, goes over to your intake. So um, the Velocitech is basically just gonna be a scoop that goes right here. And it should force more air up in there. Now, like I've said before, I do have the Shark Racing intake, which is an open air element intake. Um, but still, this is dumping fresh, cool air right by there. Hopefully it evacuates some heat out of the engine bay. Uh, like I've said in other videos and, and later on in this video, I don't have a whole lot of problems with high air intake temperatures. Now it's not summer yet, but just my driving style, my commute and stuff, I'm pretty much moving the whole time. You know, I live in Kansas. It's not like it's LA or New York with a bunch of stop and go traffic. So uh, they recommend pulling the whole bumper off for this install. I don't disagree with that. I'm not gonna do that because of the rug incident where I ran over a rolled up rug on the highway. Um, I don't feel like taking the bumper apart again just because the way I have the underbody tray, it's it's zip tied on there. I know it's kind of janky. Gotta do what you gotta do, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to unclip all these, take this off and see if we can't just access it from the back and see if we can't get it installed. So. Uh, like I said, or I'm going to say uh, further along in the video, I don't expect to see huge temperature drops. If you had a stock intake or a closed box air intake system, I think you'd see a drastic change. Me, I've got the open element intake. I just kind of wanted, I don't know, something that uh, looked kind of cool in the grill. I know a lot of people complain that these are asymmetrical. You know, you have the scoop on one side. That doesn't bother me. I still think it looks really neat. So... I'm gonna go ahead and try to slap this in here and uh, then we'll go on another drive. So the box does come with instructions, which I'm not gonna use. That came packaged really well. And then these uh, nuts and bolts here. So basically what you do, you're going to drill a hole on either side of this and I'm just gonna hold it up in there because you can see I can reach it just fine. And then um, tighten these down and that should be it. Looks like a straightforward install. I'll let you know if it works by not taking the bumper off. Again, I don't recommend that, but in my situation, it's just what I'm gonna have to do. So sit tight, I'm gonna slap this in. Okay guys, got it installed and back together. You can see there's a screw here, screw here. You can see down in there, let me get some light. Maybe. There we go. So the blue actually looks better. I didn't get the light up one. That just seemed kind of, I don't know, a little, not my style, I guess. I'll just leave it at that. So here's what, here's what she looks like. Sorry, I wouldn't even point the phone at the thing. The, like I said, the blue looks much better now. 
that it's in there. So I'm gonna back the car out, let it idle for a few minutes and see what our intake air temperatures are. And then we're gonna go for a ride. So you'll see it sucks air in here, funnels it up through here, which goes right into your Ram air deal. And for me, it's gonna dump out of my intake. So like I said, I don't know how much, if anything, it's gonna change. Sorry, the car is dirty. It's, we're supposed to get rain the next few days, which maybe I should wash it. I need rain on my yard and then it'll definitely rain. So uh, like I said, I'm gonna back this out, remote start it, and I'll, I'll show you some shots of what it looks like when it's outside. And we'll go see if it made any difference as far as my uh, intake air temperatures. So cool mod, I highly recommend taking the bumper off. That thing was hard to get in there. Um, I don't know if it's as hard as taking off the bumper. Again, I told you my situation's a little different, so um, I made it happen. It wasn't too bad. I could have used a second set of hands, but I'm, I'm pretty handy when it comes to working on stuff. So uh, I know some Chad in the comments is gonna say, well, why don't you just replace your underbody tray? Because it's not fun. I'd rather spend money on stuff like this and record it and uh, show you guys you know, what you can really do with these these Korean cars, which just aren't nearly as popular as their Japanese counterparts. So yeah, I'll back this out, let it run, and we'll take a gander, check it out. Okay, so there's what it looks like out in the sun. Again, I am happy with the blue and happy with the shape I went with. Fit and finish on these things is awesome. They appear to be 3D printed. So it's pretty subtle. Like I said, when the sun hits the front of the car, I think it'll, it'll be brighter. Um, if you guys want something a little more flashy, they've got neon colors, red, white, stuff like that. I just wanted something nice and subtle, and that it is. So I'm going to remote start this, let it run for about five minutes, and then we'll go see what the uh, temperatures say. Okay, so that was uh, just a little zero to 60 pole uh, I just did down the ramp. So now the outside temperature saying 57. Let's see what that intake temperature says. Okay guys, so I'm doing a real quick drive on the same route I was before. Now, the idle temperature, I'm not gonna put up the screenshot because it didn't change. And the reason for that, and I'm speeding. Um, making sure I'm not getting pulled over. That's funny. So the reason for that is obviously there's not air being pushed into the intake at idle. Plus the car was sitting out in the sun, so it was unchanged. But we're going 71, 72 now. Um, it's 62 degrees out, so let's see what we got currently. I think those numbers speak for themselves. I'm 11 degrees over the ambient temperature. It was 18 to 20 previously. So I'm not saying this is the be all end all, you know, it's a magic thing to lower your intake temperatures but I really do think it helps just force more cool air into your intake system. Again, I think you would see better results with a stock box because that, yeah, because um, there's an airplane. That's cool, sorry about that guys. Um, because it's gonna force that cold air right into the closed intake box. And again, I wanted more turbo noise. It's not a race car. So I'm gonna turn around, uh, get back on the highway. And then where I got that last screenshot before the install, um, we'll see what it is there. So, so far I'm happy with the results. It actually dropped the intake temperatures. I can't think of the math off my head on five, six degrees. I don't know how much that's really gonna change, but it looks cool. Again, that's why I said I bought it. So here we'll uh, get on it a little. So um, now we'll check that intake temperature. I'm gonna, like I said, check it the exact same intervals I did in the previous video or the previous screenshots and see what we got. So hopefully you guys like this content. If there's anything you all wanna see, comment down below. Um, mainly I just picked the modifications that I wanna do. And if there's anything that I'm not thinking of or you guys want to see different, I'd be happy to look into it. So, or like I said, where I took that pre-install last screenshot, I'm going to drive to there, do the same thing, and we'll wrap this up. And that was uh, 
16, 17 degrees above ambient, which was better than the previous results by a couple degrees. So I'd say it's worth it. I don't think it's going to be a huge performance mod. You know, maybe for the Stinger guys that are doing some, uh, hold on, look at this. I'm a car guy, obviously. Pretty freaking clean expedition or uh, excursion. You never see those anymore. It was a set, it sounded like it was a 7.3 too. ADD kicked in. So, anyways, uh, you know, I think if you're actually taking your car to the drag strip, like the Stinger guys and stuff, I think it's probably a well worth worth it mod. Um, again, the faster you go, the more air it's going to shove into the intake. Um, my testing was subjective but I did see real world results on my normal driving. Now, you know, somebody that knows more about what these cars, turbocharged cars and, and a couple degrees in the air intake temperature, they might tell you, oh, that's worth two horsepower, three horsepower. Again, you're not gonna feel it, but these guys are actually out racing and stuff. I think it's a definite viable mod. For me, I thought it looked cool. So uh, I'm gonna go back home and wrap this up. Hopefully the information was useful in this. Uh, these intakes run 139, and I can't remember if that's including shipping or before shipping. I don't want to say that's before shipping, but uh, they are made to order, 3D printed, um, super high quality. You can get different body colors, different inlet flare colors, different shapes. There's a lot of customization you can do. So hopefully this was informative. Like I said, I'm gonna park this uh, in the garage and wrap this video up and uh, I'll be with you in a sec. All right guys, so that's gonna be a wrap on today's uh, video. Again, I know it wasn't an install video, because like everything in my life, I like to do things the hard way. So like I said, it looks cool. Um, as far as the performance gain on the K5s, again, unless you're really, you know, you've got a GT and you're doing a lot of maybe drag strip stuff. I mean, that's not really what these cars are made for. You know, I got the JB4 because I wanted a little bit of power. I don't race the car or anything like that. So um, as far as the performance aspect, we saw a few degree temperature drop throughout my driving conditions. And uh, the main reason I got it is I think it looks cool. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know if you guys think I should have got a different color flare because I can change that out at any time. Uh, again, I really don't recommend installing this without taking the bumper off. I would highly recommend taking the bumper off. So please like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Um, got a couple other little things coming uh, that I'm going to do here in the next couple weeks. So. Yeah, hopefully you guys like this. I think this is a nice functional mod. Again, is it worth the performance gain for the money? That's your call. But again, I think it looks awesome. And I got a little bit cooler intake temps to boot. So have a great rest of the week. It's Wednesday, it's halfway done. Um, I appreciate all the support on the different K5 groups and uh, all the comments and, and new subscribers on YouTube. You guys rock, man. Like I said, that's why I'm able to do this stuff. So. Um, just, you know, like I said, keep, keep up the, the positivity and everything good coming, and I will keep making these videos. Have a great week, guys.